The Indian Army currently fields one of the largest and most capable tank forces in the world, with frontline armored units, comprised entirely of advanced Russian designed T-72 and T-90 platforms. Approximately 2,400 of the former and 1,700 of the latter. Several thousand of these platforms have been partly produced in India, itself under license, allowing the country to manufacture new battle tanks as needed while strengthening its domestic defense industries. Fielding advanced Russian tanks in such large numbers gives India's ground forces a considerable quantitative and qualitative advantage over the forces of neighboring Pakistan. And until the Chinese People's Liberation Army's induction of the elite indigenous Type 99A in 2011 also ensured technological supremacy over the East Asian states armored units in the event of war. Following a spike in tensions on the Sino-Indian border in 2017, India has reportedly sought out the latest export variant of the Russian T-90, the T-90MS, for its ground forces to further modernize its already lethal armored warfare capabilities. The T-90MS represents a new modernized variant of the T-90S with the older variant currently widely in service in the Indian Army, and integrates a number of state-of-the-art new technologies. These include a new 1130 horsepower engine, GLONASS satellite and inertial navigation systems, a PNM Sosna U gunner view system, enhanced thermal imaging sites, a new removable turret bustle and four video cameras to provide a full coverage circular view. Perhaps the most considerable new upgrade fielded by them is variant however is its new relict expositive reactive armor, providing the battle tank with an unprecedented degree of survivability, against even highly advanced anti-tank munitions. The T-90MS is capable of firing both guide missiles and conventional munitions from its 125mm 2 liter F-46 dome-5 main cannon including a variety of submunitions which give the platforms a high degree of versatility. The Indian Defense Ministry has approved the acquisition of 464 of these battle tanks to form eight divisions specifically for deployment to the country's border with China. The 1.5 billion contract is set to be followed by further deals to acquiring upgraded thermal imaging equipment for existing T-90 tanks. India has long been a leading client for the latest Russian arms, and the T-90 tanks represent but one of several new weapon systems contracted in 2018, with upgrades to the Su-30 MKI fleet and purchase of S-400 long-range air surface to air missile systems also, taking place among numerous other arms deals. While India has come under considerable pressure from the United States to terminate its Russian acquisitions, with Washington threatening economic sanctions and the cancellation of several arms deals should Delhi continue its defense partnership with Moscow. India has ultimately refused to bend to Western pressure and its armed forces have continued with planned acquisitions as planned. With the armored warfare capabilities of neighboring China fast advancing, and with Pakistan reportedly negotiating the acquisition of T-90 platforms of its own, India may well in the near future seek a battle tank yet more capable than the T-90MS, with the country reportedly having shown interest in acquiring a next generation platform based on Russia's T-14 armor. Russia is set to remain a key guarantor of Indian parity with its neighbors by making up for the severe shortcomings in the country's defense industry with the provision of state-of-the-art arms of its own, a mutually beneficial relationship which is vital to both countries' military interests.